What's up, man? It's your boy 16. If y'all rocking out with the channel, I want to ask y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who y'all want to see next. The name I see the most in the comment section, that's who I'm going to reach out to and try to get on my channel. If you really want to support, check out the links in my description. You can follow me on all my social media at 16 Shot on Visuals with a Z. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to the video y'all came to see. I got a question uh, for you, bro. You know, with you being his manager and shit like that, that mean you, you know, obviously you have to see something in him. So what was it that you seen in him that made you want to work with him? The talent, what I seen first. You know what I'm saying? So... <clears throat> it was a talent, and then once uh, I'm gonna tell you how, how things meant to be, right? I'm asleep. I get a call. My man Coach Steele hit me, and he tell me, "Man, it's a nigga going crazy. He was like uh, Luch got him. You know what I'm saying? His name L. Hitler. So you know, I get a lot of people telling me to hit him. You know what I'm saying? And and, and listen to their shit. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I now I listen to people's shit, but uh, I wasn't listening to it then, so I brush it off. Another nigga jumped in my DM and was like, man, my nephew, I guess he, was, he wasn't even his real uncle because he didn't even know the nigga. <laughs> but the nigga like, man, my nephew got a joint call all year. It's going crazy. He's from out west. He off the land. Fuck with him. L. Hitler. I'm like, all right. So I still ain't, ain't go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Then another nigga, I said, you know what? Let me go check this shit out. I go check the video out. I'm like, oh, shorty going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then I see who shot the video. My man Alvin, Dark Mirror Films, the one who shoot all my videos, right? You know what I'm saying? So I I, I hit Alvin first because I see the numbers up. But you know, back then, numbers can be inflated. Yeah. It wasn't like at a million. It wasn't even at a half million views or nothing now. But I still seen if you're doing 100, 200,000 views, like, I, I want to know if they were real. So I hit, hit Alvin. I said, man, you uh, shot nigga... Hitler video, he's like, yeah, yeah, man. He was like, shorty coming up. His hood support him. He got, they loving this shit. I say, the views really like they real, bro. I checked it like they real. <laughs> so I hit Looch. You know what I'm saying? Now, I've been knowing Looch for over 10 years. You know what I'm saying? Back when I was doing music and when he was doing music. And he, he tell me like, yeah, I got him. I'm like, you got him locked down? Because I don't want to get in no business with Motherfuckers who ain't got their paperwork right and all that shit. He was like, yeah, yeah, I got them locked down. So I sat down. They came out west. And uh, we, we chopped it up. He hopped in the truck. We bent a few blocks, hollered at him. He was humble. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening to some of his music. I'm like, man, well, let's make this shit work. You know what I'm saying? And we put that shit together. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and made that shit shake. You know what I'm saying? We was at a million views about a week week after that. That shit and that shit took off from there. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's just how I think that some things when it's meant to happen, when, when God is in control of it, like can't nothing stop it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, he he been working ever since then. You know what I'm saying? The uh the biggest problem I, I thought we was gonna have was with his name, with Hitler, cause I'm like, you know, the fear you know some people and uh, he agreed and he wanted you know he wanted his name to be a, a household name so we took a couple months off where we just cleaned everything up on his page cleaned this shit up you know what i'm saying and, and he went with the name hitter and now we back so you know we took a we took a, a few steps back it's like this this industry is like out of sight out of mind so because we went dropping shit on a constant basis like that you know, people kind of forget about you. But now we came back, mm -hmm. dropped the gang, then remix, dropped the uh, motherfucking uh, like brothers. Then we had the joint with him and FBG Duck and Juicy Fruit. Dropped that video. Then got him in the lab with One Four Seven Cowboy. Got him in there with Mimo Six Hundred. Got him in there with, with Elgato. El, man, we just we just working. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So we got a lot of shit for the drop. You know what I'm saying? And, and he humble. He got he got good music, ready to drop. Bunch of videos ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So we just finna start dropping shit. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So you know, uh, what's next for uh, y'all as far as on the music? Is there any mixtapes or uh, albums? That you um, just more, just more visuals. You know, I just drop my mixtape. Oh, nobody nothing. Um, other than that, just more visuals. Um, you know, just just more work. <laughs> you know, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna keep doing my thing and be ready for the hit y'all. Alright. 
So for the people that's uh you know watching this that look up to you or probably want to be in a position you're in right now, like what advice would you get them? It's fine. Um, just just always believe in yourself. Don't ever let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. As long as you believe in your inner self, just go with it and run with it. Um, just you know stay humble throughout whatever you're trying to do, and you know read and try to try to learn as many words as you can, and you know just so so when you meet bigger people in life, you can understand certain things that they bring or present to you. So just, you know, just stay focused and always believe in yourself and have patience. And stop taking, trying to take the, the easy way out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, some people, everybody, I get a lot of people that hit me talking about they need a manager, but a manager job is to manage your career. Like, mm -hmm. people want a manager before they even got a career. Like, yeah, you ain't right. got... A hundred views, you ain't got, you know what I'm saying? You got to have some sort of foundation. Yep. You got to give a manager something to work with. You know what I'm saying? Like, you what ain't you give a manager to work with. You you want a motherfucker to build build you. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This ain't build a bell over here. You got to have a foundation to set and got some shit going already. And that's when I can use my connects and, and my plugs and, mm -hmm. and, and you know what I'm saying? And, and shit like that to, to get you to another level. I'm not... I'm gonna lie to you, like I can just take an artist just off the ground who ain't got nothing going and build. I don't have the time for that to, to try and build no motherfucker. But if mm -hmm. you got a foundation and you moving, then we can work with that. Cause then you know I, I can take you to the people and put you on on levels where where motherfuckers are, are listen to you and take you. <coughs> but if you if I come to a motherfucker if I tell Gotti, man I got uh my man, you know he he cold he. You know, he, let me see what he got. And it's 10 views here, 20 views. He don't even take you serious because you ain't even got a fan base yet. Like, it wasn't no problem for me to take him right in the studio with Gotti. Gotti put him right in the booth. You know what I'm saying? Mike Evans brought him right in his house. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, Flocka brought him right in the studio and got to work. So it's like, but that's because he was already, he, he had he had his shit moving. He had his shit in order and he had a team behind him. You know what I'm saying? With with Dub Life and then he had the, the, the graphics dude with Cash. He had, to, you know, hey, man, they, 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 they had their shit in order. You know what I'm saying? So I hear a lot of people try and give me a lot of credit for it. Like, man, you may not, I didn't make nothing. I added to it and put the co components together, which made shit, shit go. But they, they had their shit going already. But I do believe that what I brought to the table was able, made it get to where it needed to be with the shit that I put there. But it all had to go hand in hand. Had they not had that going, and had he not had the music and had Luch mm -hmm. not had him and uh, you know what I'm saying, none of this would be possible right now. So I don't try to take no credit. I give every motherfucker their credit what credit is, is due and deserve. What you doing music, how do you uh how do you uh stay relevant? Um, like stay low and you know that's what you mean, like stay saying Like stay basically so people how you how you keep people how you keep your music on people's mind. Like, oh, I just I stay interactive with my fans. I, I'm see me. I'm a funny person. I, I keep them I keep them laughing. And, you know I just I stay humble and I just keep you know go I go live with them. I let them inside my life a little bit. You know and I just keep trying to I speak pain and speak knowledge. So as long as I keep keep doing that and with my fans, I'm good. I'm good to go. All right. So uh. You you said when you was in a uh, in a joint you was rapping and shit like that. Yeah. So. I'm snapping. So is this something you could uh, preview for us now on camera? That I that I used to be rapping in a joint. But just anything for. Let me see. I'm from here. I'm from here. Get a few few bars, baby. I say. Time to fight a name backing up. Up the pole, blast and duck, finesse that bitch and play that role, I bet she won't be acting up. Stick him if he acting tough. Patty cake, clap him up, you niggas never heard of me or seen me. Dragon nut, got a pair of everything. Pair of hoes, pair of shoes, pair of trues. You and him together, y'all a pair of fools. Finna go and do a drill, time to go prepare the tools. Grind a Mac and put it to your chest like a pair of boobs. Told the tumble bad bras, 12 with our rank, y'all. Making shit splat on the wall like a paintball. Hoes what you can't call, never got on blank draws. Big shit to pick the ground up and make a tank fall. Ooh, 
Uzi, make him bangle shake. Ball until my ankle break. Seven shots with the K, they gotta reconnect his face. Hit up for president, it's one time on election day. Fuck the ops that won me out the way. Here's a confession, wait, be cute, your mans, I understand. Getting money was the plan when bro, them crack and scold, it sounded like a Pepsi can. We ain't like his attitude, caught his ass out of school. I just got the 30 and he smoking like a pack of cools. I fascinate the camera. Turn up on you amateurs, my red bitch and I, fuck till we got no stamina. Bubba small, now she got a fatty cause I'm cramming her. Clip longer than the mop stick like I'm a janitor. Hollow till I make his man explode like a dynamite. Name the fucking everybody, probably even fucking dice. Come to your crib, you in the kitchen, eating good, I'm a cock back. Boom, boom, spoil your mama appetite. Gotta dust my haters off. Smoke now and later call. If I pop a feather too, that shit will have me Vegas lost. I'm a tall T, I throw it up like nasty cold starter. SK to MAC-10, spin him when it goes off. Hit up. All right, hey. <laughs> You know, a lot of people I be asking them freestyle, but they really don't know how to rap without <laughs> without a beat. You know, <laughs> so yeah, man, I thought I could handle. Yeah, I fuck with it. I was kind of hesitant to ask because I ain't know if you was on the rappers. You know, some people only can make songs in the studio, but yeah, you, you know, know, that's what I actually like was doing before I started writing music. I used to be writing bars, writing bars, you feel me? writing punchlines. Like top, of, I, I wouldn't even name nothing, no, none of my music, nothing but punchlines, punchlines, punchlines. Punchline. And I just throw. What kind of made you transition from, you know, the hard, like, bars to that, like, that shit people could, like, dance to and I just felt like it's, it's just time to see what other lanes you're good in and, and see what, you know, just, it's part of upgrading and, you know, you know becoming, becoming a man. You know, you want to try different stuff and you see how, you, what you try out and you see how people react to it and it makes you want to keep on doing that. So that's what it was. So are you versatile with this music shit? Like, is there any any <coughs> secret talents that you got that people that probably don't know about? People know I rap, I sing, I harmonize. Like, like I really, really can sing. You feel me? But you know, I ain't. I'm not ready to open that. Like, if, if people hear like certain of my music, and like they hit, they, like you can hear a little bit of my voice. Like, yeah, he can, he can, he can slight way throw. He can sing a little bit. But you know, I haven't put that on a out a hundred, hundred percent. But. Yeah. You know, just trust me. It's it's it's, it's in the making. It's in the making. You know? When you feel like it's gonna uh, be time, you know, to to show that side of you, like, what would you uh, be waiting to see happen? This this year is gonna be real, real big for me. So, man, just be ready. What's you know what's what's, what's about to hit them? You know, that's all I can say. As far as the city as a whole, like, if you was to get advice, like, what was some? I just I just want everybody to just. Just come, just come together and just leave that dumb shit alone, you feel me? Let's just all just, just eat, you feel me? Just, let's just focus. Let's just understand that, because a lot of people, they, they got kids, like, why can't you just do it for the youth? Yeah. Like, the youth don't ask to be here. We can, the only thing we can do is just, just get them, show them a better example of things in life, you know? So I just won't. I just wish everybody just come together and just and just stay focused because the spotlight is really on the city, on Chicago big time. And if we really just can come together and just stay focused and cut all that negativity out, we can really outshine everybody. Yeah, because Chicago hot. It's always been hot. It's like mm -hmm. since I started doing the interview shit, I noticed like Chicago itself got a fan base. Like not just the rappers and shit, mm -hmm. but like. Just being here alone, like, it's real life. People, they asking me to interview that never dropped a song a day in their life. Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> you know, yeah. it's shit weird. And then they, they be knowing a lot of shit. They know more than I be knowing. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of the interviews and shit I be doing, I let the fans kind of <coughs> point me in the direction of who hot and shit like that. And mm -hmm. it might be somebody in a whole other state telling me about somebody in my city. So, Chicago, mm -hmm. they got, like, a crazy-ass fan base. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, with you being, like, you know, on a positive note, uh, do that mean you like willing to work with anybody that's hot in the city? Yeah, I'm, I'm, willing, I'm definitely willing, willing to work with anybody that's you know believe in theyself and you know got got a got a got a nice fan base to them. You know, just I, I just I'm willing to work with anybody who I see that's working hard. All right. So what you have in that mindset, you know, you willing to do shit like that, and all the BS going on in the city. How do you uh you know s separate yourself from it when working with people? That people might have issues with. Man, man, people know me. I'm a hill hitter, so be they all. They already know. If you if you're a real nigga, you gonna understand. Whatever they got, whatever y'all they y'all got going on, that's between y'all. Y'all see how I move and watch my interviews. You feel me? Y'all see what type of nigga I am in the dope. So if you feel like 
you going if you one of those type of niggas that's man, I think he gonna rock then just stay away. But like me who I am and the people who I surround myself around, you know, they gonna make sure that we ain't got none of them. You feel me or you know what I'm saying? Like, right. you know. So so far that haven't been an issue, like you ain't came no, across I, me. No, I haven't been no issue. That's what's up. One thing I noticed that you said about when I asked you about uh, you know, uh stopping the violence and shit, you said something about like people having kids and shit, which is crazy because I feel like people basically choose the streets over their kid. Like they be so deep in this shit that they, they choose some niggas that ain't gonna write them when they go to jail over their kid that need them or over their mama that's really that supporting them. Like why you feel like people be so brainwashed by the streets that they pick the shit that don't matter over the shit that matter? I don't know, man. I don't know. I sit and I be thinking about that every day. You know, like, man, like, why why is it like that? Like, I don't know. That shit I'm weird to me. You, man. It's, just, it's just crazy. <coughs> it's just crazy. You know, before we close out, though, is there any uh, thing you want to say? Any messages you want to put out there? Shout outs to people you want to get? Yeah, man, I just want to shout out to the whole Groovy Gang, the whole dub, like, the whole Killer Clan, man. I want to shout out to all my fans for supporting me, man. You know, being there since day one, you know. Since since, since the you feel me, since the Hiller days, you know, but you know now it's, it's you know, I'm, I'm I'm a man now, you know. Doing big things, man. You know, so I just want everybody just remain humble. Everybody who got dreams out there, follow your dreams. Believe in yourself and, and understand, you know, it's always it's always gonna be a way. You, you, your turn gonna gonna be here. You gotta believe in and be ready for when your turn get here. Yeah. Well, uh, Broski, appreciate you doing the interview with me. You Keep doing your thing. Bro. You got a bright future ahead of yourself. Nah, appreciate it, bro. Alright, so look, the reason I started this YouTube channel was to reach out to big artists in my area that got somewhat of a name, a following, a fan base. You know, just people paying attention to them. That way I could build up my platform and I could reach out to smaller artists who I feel like got potential, you know, could make it somewhere if they just have the right people looking at them or the right person helping them, somebody paying attention to them. Because there's a lot of artists that got talent, but nobody paying attention, so the talent go unnoticed. So what I'm doing basically is looking out for them, giving back. Just the same way these artists looking out for me, because I started just without no name, didn't nobody know who I was. They just agreed to do this off the strength, you know, for free, not charging me nothing. So. But the artist that's looking out for me, I feel like it's only right that I give back to the other people. Because I used to rap, I used to be a rap artist, and I had talent, but wasn't white paying attention. So I'm trying to create a platform to put everybody on who I feel like deserves that shot. So if you want to support the movement, you can do it multiple ways. You can do it by either pointing me in the direction of somebody that you feel like got potential and should be on this platform, send a donation, purchase some clothes, like, subscribe, and share my videos, putting somebody else onto the videos, just the simple things. All the comments, I read all that, so whatever you, however you choose to support, it's all appreciated. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to follow me on my social media, it's 16 Shot on Visuals on Instagram. Email booking Raheem16 at gmail.com. That's the best way to get up with me.